The scourge strikes at Everton again. The merest of flicks, but it was his. I did see, I didn't think we'd seen the last of the scoring, but we were ever thinking about defensively. And this is a good, good header from Ian Rush. Plenty of blue shots in there. If you look round, he's absolutely surrounded by blue shots. They'll be furious again. You must put it down. It's a great piece of finishing. But Howard Kent will be wondering where his defence were then. Saunders. Thomas through the middle again. Michael Thomas. Rush. 2-0 Liverpool. So, so simple. And vintage. Ian Rush, 68 minutes gone, and Liverpool go two goals clear in the cup final. And there's nobody that loves the Wembley scene better than Ian Rush. Saunders again involved, unselfish play from Thomas, and there Ian Rush, either side to choose from, tucked it away. Saunders running at the defence, Michael Thomas, another of those surging runs, could have been selfish, saw Rush there, and at 2-0 now, Although Sunderland are going to make their substitution, I, I can't see it, them getting back into this uh, the typical Liverpool move. And McMahon intercepting. Rush going to the left now. Onside, Ian Rush. Liverpool take the lead. And Ian Rush, the ace goal scorer, once again makes it look so easy. Palace never recovered from Pardew losing the ball in midfield to McMahon. The penetrating pass found out the Palace defence. McMahon, who got the ball from the Palace player, Pardew, slide rule ball, isn't it? They're looking for an offside, it never came. And as Nigel Martin narrowed the angle, Rush just jogged the ball past him with his left foot. And that's a moment of Liverpool history because Ian Rush, with that goal, now becomes the second highest scorer in the history of the club. Nickel. Oh, there's Rush in there. Rush! Goal! Ian Rush! Liverpool back in front. Five minutes into extra time. And Ian Rush. Scorer of two against Everton here three years ago, swivels on that, shakes off Ratcliffe and beats Southall. A typical rush effort, and it's come at a timely moment for Liverpool.